guys, welcome back. It's Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today we are gonna be making this ephemera keeper journal. And this is a kit we made especially for um, storing some of your ephemera pieces. It's gonna have lots of pockets and it'll have places to store things like, you know, stickers and tags and stuff. So um, went ahead and printed this out on cardstock and I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these pieces out and we'll put it together. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out all of my pieces and these are the pages that come with the kit. And what you're gonna wanna do is choose one of these pages to be your cover. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one with the butterfly, but you could choose any one that you want. And so we're gonna cut this page in half and I'm just going to fold it so that I can kind of see where the middle is. It's kind of hard to see even if it folded, so I'm just going to mark it real quick to make sure I've got it right on that crease. There we go, hopefully you can see that. And I'm just going to cut that in half, and that'll give us um, a front and a back cover for our booklet. And I'm going to set those aside. And then what you want to do is take the pages and just fold each one in half. And I printed these on cardstock, but if you wanted to use regular paper, you could. Um, I just thought it might be a little sturdier with these printed on cardstock. And we're going to just do that for each one. And I already folded these, but when you do it, you'll wanna make sure that you have a nice crease for each one. And then what we're gonna do is just glue them white side to white side like this. And that's gonna be creating our book. So there's no sewing involved. You don't have to do anything super fancy. We're just gonna go ahead and sew it together. And I'm gonna be using Fabri-Tac glue um, because it's not water-based and so it doesn't wrinkle the pages. So if your glue is wrinkling your pages, you might wanna consider a non-water-based glue. So I'll just give you a look at what this will look like here. And if you don't want to glue your pages, you could use um, uh, like a runner tape or other adhesive as well. But I'm just going to glue these together and you want to try to get them um, as straight as possible because as this book gets bigger if you're even just a little bit off on your pages it can really throw the whole book off so try to get them as straight as possible all right and that's our first page and then we're gonna just keep repeating that for the rest of the pages so fold them in half and glue them together And don't worry if you have a little bit of white space showing, you can always hide that with a little bit of distress ink, which we may do a little bit later. Okay, so I've glued all of the pages together. And keep in mind, this is a lot of pages. This is a really thick book. So if you want to use less pages, you know, just pick your favorites and use what you want. You don't have to use all of them if you don't want to. So we have this page that we chose as our front and back cover, and we're gonna be gluing that on just like this. But before we do that, we're gonna locate the um, printable paper that comes with the kit, which is this. And I went ahead and um, printed this on cardstock, but you could use regular paper if you want to. And what we're gonna do is just make a spine cover. So I'm gonna cut a piece of this out that's the same size as our spine and just wrap it around to cover it. But if you don't wanna do that, you could use lots of things to cover the spine. Um, you could use, you know, a piece of lace or something like that and just, you know, wrap it around and glue it over this to cover this spine piece. Do it. And then what I'm going to do is just um, 
kind of eyeball where I want this. Something like that, maybe. Because depending on the weight of cardstock or how many pages you use or how many um, or like what kind of paper weight you use um, this spine could be really thick or it could be thinner so um, there's no set piece for this you'll just have to measure one that fits your spine and so I'm just wrapping this around until it's kind of the size that we need just like this and again you don't have to use this you could use um, a piece of lace or cloth or whatever works for you and then I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this down okay and then you want to make sure your book is right side up so just double check um, and hopefully you put all your pages in right side up <laughs> and so this will be the front and that's where my front cover will go and if you wanted to glue a um, tie onto this you could certainly do that before you glue on your um, spine cover and your front cover you could glue a piece of ribbon in here and then leave it open and you could tie your book shut with that if you wanted to do that as well so I'm going to find kind of the midway point of my ribbon and I'm going to line it up with the spine, maybe. I'm going to put some glue over the top of it here. And then what we'll do is we'll wrap this ribbon around the back and we'll do the same thing back here. So there we go. Now we've got a way to tie our book shut if we want to. And a little glue here, but this is what it's gonna look like. And then we're going to go ahead and add our pockets and a little bit of the ephemera that comes with the kit. And then of course, if you have your own ephemera you want to store in here, you can do that too. Okay, so the kit includes three kinds of pockets. I went ahead and just printed these on paper, but again, you could use cardstock if you want to. And it includes these, you know, rectangle pockets, slanted pockets, and then these tall pockets. And you can use them however you want. You can use them just one on a page like this, or if you want, you know, you can double them up and make like a double pocket. Or, you know, you can use a slanted one in conjunction with a rectangular one. Just, you know, whatever works for your project. So I think I'll just use them individually. And again, you can choose which pages you want them on. You don't have to put them on every page or any page. It's up to you. Um, but we'll just go ahead and show you real quick how to put these in here. So um, you can pick, you know, kind of if there's one that goes nicely with the page that you like, you know, that's up to you. I think I'll use this one. And then just make sure that um, it fits nicely. If it looks like it's going to, you know, poke off the side of the page a little bit, then you can trim it a little. But you want to be able to shut the book when you're done. So I'm going to trim this up just a little, just to be sure. Just a smidge there. Because I don't want it to interfere with the page closing. And then what you'll want to do is just go around the outside edge and make your pocket. And you may want to double check that your pocket has a, you know, if it has a right side up you know, where it looks like it makes more sense one way than another. Just make sure you get it right side up. And keep your glue as close to the edge as you can. And then just attach your pocket to your page.
And like I said, if there's some pages you don't want to add pockets to, that's fine. And on these tall pockets, you'll just want to leave one edge open, one long edge to create the pocket. So that's how you attach the pockets and you can go through and attach the rest inside of your journal and then fill it with ephemera. Okay, so I went ahead and added the pockets and ephemera to the journal. And again, you can add more pockets, print more if you need them, or you can um, add your own ephemera pieces. And now we're going to go ahead and add some page tabs. And I printed mine, um, I converted this to JPEG and I printed it on sticker paper using my Cricut. Um, and we have a tutorial for how to fussy cut on Cricut. And I went ahead and used the sticky note setting, which gave it this kiss cut, so you can peel the stickers off. And I just printed it on vinyl sticker paper. I'll put links down below for that stuff. Um, but again, you can just print it on paper or cardstock or whatever you want and just cut it out if you want to. So what we're gonna do is just add these tabs to our pages. And I've got a lot of glue on my fingers, so hopefully it doesn't mess it up too much. But you can just pick a page and make sure it fits on both sides of it. And you can put these at the top too, instead of on the side if you want to. like that and you can put them like I said along the top if you want to and you'll want to just kind of stagger them as you go and you'll want to be mindful if you've got a tie like this one not to put any tabs where the tie goes okay so the tabs are on Let's go ahead and take a look at this ephemera keeper journal. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Bye!